Hello, and welcome to our presentation. I'm Dr. Paulette Abair, and I'm presenting on behalf of myself, Hebatala Nazmi, and Aditya Jaidas. We're from Oklahoma State University, the Department of Design and Merchandising, and we're presenting Students Consider Indoor Air Quality Influence on Health. Poor indoor air quality can be detrimental to humans. Poor indoor air quality may be associated with building materials and finishes, such as paint, adhesive, and wood products. Construction workers may be especially exposed to building materials and finishes during the construction processes, such as painting walls, installing carpet, etc. And also indoor air quality may affect building occupants. According to ZIPA 2022 estimates, approximately 40% of construction workers in the U.S. are non-white. According to the Center for Construction Research and Training 2022, more than 1.8 million racial minorities were employed in the construction industry in 2015. Professional interior designers are responsible for the selection and specification of indoor materials and finishes. This is important because designers may select from a plethora of choices, some of which may have relatively high volatile organic compounds or VOCs, and which may produce poor indoor air quality triggering or exacerbating health conditions experienced by construction workers. Methodology. In an effort towards increasing designers' understanding and accountability regarding selection specifications, VOCs, and health, students enrolled in a materials and finishes for interior design course in a large Southern Midwest university were exposed to a variety of building materials and finishes in a hands-on exercise. Students painted, sanded, and otherwise manipulated 16 building materials and finishes while accompanied by an indoor air quality monitor, which measured the associated VOCs. Here you see an image of the faculty and students conducting the indoor air quality monitoring activity. The 17 students, prospective designers, represented a racially diverse group with 26.7 reporting as non-white. Results of the indoor air quality measurements varied and notably, the spray paint produced a VOC value of 31,738.67 points per billion. In results of the associated IRB approved survey, students indicated that this exercise helped them gain an understanding of designer's importance in considering VOCs and indoor air quality in future design projects. Conclusion. There are indoor air quality implications for renovation or design of new healthcare facilities, including pharmacies and construction workers and future occupants, including patients and pharmacists. And these are our references. Thank you for your attention and for um, attending our presentation.